so it's the morning slash kind of afternoon after the night before because last night I went to a very incredible party. Longcom invited me as part of their 80th birthday celebrations to go to this big party extravaganza where all of their ambassadoresses were. There was Kate Winslet, Julia Roberts, Penelope Cruz, Lily Collins. It was incredible. There was also a special performance by Kylie Minogue which I just sung my heart out the entire time too. <laughs> it was amazing. But I thought I would get back in to my like get up for you so you can see what's happening here because I'm going to recreate the look that I wore. It was all long con products. I threw on this little white dress, little sparkly bag and I was all ready to go and the look is so simple. There is such a minimal amount of products used here. It's like a 10 minute party makeup for minimal makeup wearers. That's way too long for a title, but it will be something like that. So the first thing that I used was this Tante Miracle foundation and I used this in the shade 01. This is great because it actually has quite a medium-ish coverage to it, but it is very dewy and natural in finish. It definitely doesn't look like you have a load of foundation on your face. It's a very natural but like long wearing finish, so I just blended that all over kind of straight with a brush, buffing it in all over the face and then I just took a makeup sponge and kind of bopped it out just to make sure there wasn't any excess on the skin and I had exactly just what I needed it on but I find that that covered a lot of my redness and I also just took that down the neck as well because if like me you're wearing a dress that shows off a bit of neck then it's always good just to make sure that all matches up. Continuing on with a very natural complexion theme I used the matching concealer again in the shade 01 and just applied that under my eyes around the edges of my nose on my nose because it tends to look like Rudolph quite a lot and also over any redness that was still hanging around on my cheeks and I'm just blending that in really softly. Now this provides such a kind of light but very reflective coverage so it's almost working a bit like a highlighter in those areas and where I've applied it sort of bringing those areas out a bit. So again just blending that in very softly because it's such a blendable formula that literally took a minute if that. So for now we're like two minutes into our 10 minute schedule. We've got plenty of time. The next one is a bit of a weird one but I used the LaBase Pro Hydro Glow, great name, Illuminating Makeup Primer 24 Hour Hydration. This is technically a primer but I used this as a bit of a highlighting step. I kind of really wanted to keep that dewy fresh finish to the skin, keeping things looking very natural and this is a really natural way of adding highlight because it just has the finest kind of subtle glow to it. There's no real like flecks of shimmer or glitter going on and it's got like a slight rose iridescence running through it so it actually added a nice bit of rosy luminescence to my cheeks but I really like how quick and easy this was to apply. I literally just dabbed this on my fingers, blended it on at the tops of my cheekbones, done. Now where I tend to go wrong on nights out is I cake the base on. I go for like a really heavy foundation, really heavy concealer and all I need to do is use the foundation and concealer that I normally use and perhaps just use a little bit more powder than normal because that is what's going to set everything into place. So I use this next. This is the Belle de Ton Natural Healthy Glow Sheer Blurring Powder and I use this in the shade 3 Belle du Jour. Now this has a really light texture to it. It's like butter when you put your finger in it. I could literally just swirl my finger and swatch that all day. It blends so invisibly into the skin. It's like a no powder powder type thing. I'm just taking that all over anywhere where my makeup tends to disappear first. So for me that's kind of around my chin and down the center of the face. I'm not applying it where I applied the primer on the cheeks just because I really want to keep that glow there and I don't want to dull it down with anything. So just kind of applying that more around the outer sides of the face and also down the center too. Next I just brushed through my brows. They already had a bit of product on anyway so I just kind of left them how they were. I also primed my lids and curled my eyelashes and then it was time for eyeshadow and I was a bit, wasn't really sure what to do here because I knew that I was going to go for something really bold on the lips but I wasn't sure what to do with eyes. Then I saw this palette, the Hypnos palette Star Eyes and this is in the shade Brew au naturel. I saw it, I was like yes now I know what I'm doing, I'm going to use this. And firstly I just took the mid-tone brown from the left hand side of the palette and I just dusted that all over my lids. Now I really like this shade. It's kind of a satin finish, there's not any real shimmer going on in it, it's just a very natural finish on the lids and I really like how it's just a few shades darker than my natural skin tone. It just gave one of those shadows where it makes it look like your lid is naturally that shadowy in a very kind of sexy-ish way. 
you know what I mean? I really like how that looked and I'm just taking that on a blending brush and kind of blending it all over. Then I went in with a slightly bigger blending brush into the chocolate brown that's in the centre of the palette. Now this has got a bit of shimmer running through it and I'm just putting that through my crease but kind of quite a way in. I'm really rounding out the eye here. I then at the end took some of the pale kind of beige goldy shimmer highlight and just popped a little bit of that on the inner corners of my eye just to add a bit of brightness to things. Now we all know that Lancome are known for their mascaras. I'm a big fan of the Hypnose Waterproof one. So Lancome's newest campaign is the Say It With Your Eyes campaign and it's a campaign that Lisa Eldridge did the makeup for. Big fan really into that and the launch is the Hypnos Volume Aporter Mascara. Now you guys know I normally love my waterproof mascaras but anything that Lisa suggests and Lisa is a fan of I'm willing to give a go. It really fanned out my eyelashes and gave them a lot of separation and a lot of the mascaras that I currently use don't really do that. They tend to kind of clump together so it's quite nice to see how many eyelashes I had for once and also I can report that it was much easier to get off last night than my usual mascara offering so that was a good thing. I put this on the bottom lash line as well just to add a bit of definition there. So the final step for the makeup was this and this is probably the thing I was most excited about because the minute I set eyes on it I was like you are the perfect plummy purpley burgundy matte lip. Massively feeling this. It is called the... let's have a look. I think it might be time for me to get an eye test but I can see that it's in the shade 493 and I will pop up a little insert here with its full name but this is great. All I did was just took that all over the lips. I took off any excess that was on the applicator kind of in the lid and then just swiped that all over the lips and because this is such a flexible tip it was difficult to go too overboard with it. You kind of couldn't because you really had to apply quite a lot of pressure to get that colour out and that's actually quite a good thing with lip stains like this because otherwise things can get horribly messy and it didn't with this one. So the makeup done, it's time to talk touch-ups. Now in my bag I only took two makeup items. The first thing was this and it's the Miracle Cushion in the shade 01. This is like a setting powder for people who don't like powder except it's not a powder at all, it's a liquid. That is a very <laughs> long-winded way of what this product does. It's very light to medium base and you're just popping your sponge and just dab it on top of your makeup. And that's what I like this for. I really like this, the kind of touch-ups on the go when you don't want to add powder. You don't necessarily want to matte everything out. You want a bit of glow to the skin. So this is really good to like throw in your bag on a night out because you're going to get that coverage that you might have sweated off through doing lots of dancing, but you're not going to get that really matte, wow you just put loads of makeup on in the toilets kind of look, it's going to look very natural instead. And the other thing was the lip product, just in case, didn't end up needing to use it but I did pop it in my bag because you never know when you're going to have to eat a burrito or a burger or something like that. So that concludes my very simple minimal product party face and also a little what went in my party bag. I hope you like this video, it's definitely time for me to get back into my comfy clothes and head back to London now. But thank you so much for watching, I will see you with a new video very soon, bye!